Guys, this is not an aquarium. This is the world's first and only underwater farm where they grow plants like this, this, and this for people to eat. The question is, how do plants that live underwater taste like? In Italy, I introduce you to Federico. I'm Nasdaily. I'm Federico, and we have the world first and only underwater farm. Welcome, Welcome to Nemo's Garden. Garden. To grow food, you need land. That's why, as our population grows, we will need more land to grow more food. And now that we're billions, we don't have enough land to grow the food. So Fredico and his team thought, if there is no space on land, why don't we grow food underwater? The owner of the company, Sergio Gamberini, started to do it as a joke. But when he started doing it, he realized it actually worked. Turns out it's actually doable. First, they created huge transparent bubbles. They put them 20 feet below the sea and anchored them to the sea floor with chains. And finally, they brought in the pot of plants and grew them like you would on land. We also monitor plants 24 hours a day with an automatic system and our sensor connected to a control tower. Growing plants underwater might just be better than on land. Here, you don't need chemicals to kill pests because, well, there are no pests. The temperature is always the same and you don't even need to water the plants. Why? Because of the difference in temperature inside and outside the biosphere, the salty seawater condenses and turns into fresh water droplets. That's why we have an unlimited source of fresh water in the biosphere. Welcome to Nemo's Garden! This system is self-sustainable. It's eco-friendly and according to the team, the plants grow faster, stronger and with higher nutrients than on land. We have tested more than 100 plants and all of them grow very well. So what you're looking at now is herbs, beans, strawberries, even tobacco that was grown underwater. It's like going into space. It's tough but exciting. To be clear, this is still a lot more expensive than farming on land, but they are working hard to build more farms underwater. Fredico's work isn't just about growing food, it's about building a world where we live in harmony with nature, both above and below water. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.